hey g squad how are you guys doing it's always good to be back with you guys like trust me <laughs> i miss doing makeup videos like oh my goodness it feels like ages since i like, since i did the last makeup video and you guys have been asking me a series of questions grace what's happening why are you not doing makeup videos and stuff so today i'm bringing you a makeup video yes <laughs> I think in this video I'm going to be focusing more on the eyes, going bold on the eyes and downplaying every other area. So as usual I've used my spoolie to you know, comb my brows, now I'm using my eye pencil, my brow pencil sorry. <laughs> I'm using my brow pencil to fill in my eyebrow area. Just filling everything in nicely as usual getting things you know fixed up in this area so guys how have you been doing like i miss doing this but makeup is my first love so despite the fact that i've you know delved into other areas and stuff i still love makeup so much and it's still like top of my mind but like i said guys all that i've brought to you are stuff that i'm really interested in so i'm going to be doing all of these like a mix of everything social courses makeup just sharing my life and my interest with you guys basically so keep your fingers crossed and keep expecting all of those sort of content from me okay and i hope you guys are cool with that so I've just filled in my brows. I'm using a spoolie, the spoolie again to just, you know, comb it and make sure every area is well filled up and there are no sparse areas. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now I'm using my concealer. I'm going to use my concealer. And this is the Ellie Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn with my brow paint, my brow brush. Oh my god. <sighs> Tend to be forgetting the names of my toes, like my brow brush, to so clean my brows. You know, just define my brows and clean up any area that I've made a mess while filling it. Just blending everything, brushing and blending everything together. So, guys, like I said, you should keep expecting content around. All of, all of the areas you have seen me and many more you know you guys are amazing like i can't appreciate you guys enough you guys are the best g squad you guys are the best your love your support is amazing and i'm just amazed at how much you guys love and support me i can't appreciate you guys enough let's keep our love waxing stronger and stronger and stronger so um blending everything out i've blended my eye area i'm using a beauty blender to you know buff it up and soak up any excess products that i have there that's just my ellie girl concealer i do this all the time just to prepare the eye area before applying my eyeshadow and usually when i'm done you know preparing the eye area just covering up every you know hyper pigmentation i use my setting powder this is a sasha setting powder and a brush you know to set the concealer just to prevent any creasing in my eye area before i apply my eyeshadow now i got a new eyeshadow palette guys yay <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time coming so i got this new morphe palette and i'm taking this shade here it is not named but it's sort of like burgundy shade and i'm using it as the transition shade just using my blending brush and applying it as a transition shade on both eyes like i said guys today's look i'm concentrating on the eyes i'm going bold on the eyes so keep watching on to see how 
this turns out and i hope you guys like it so keep watching keep watching let's go just blend as usual like i always say guys blend 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 you take little amount you apply and you blend okay just so that you don't have too much product at the start and then you start struggling to fix any mess yes that's how we do it little amount blend and then you add up next i'm going to take this shade this blue shade here and apply lightly over the transition color building up on the colors and just building up and building up until we achieve the look we want to see so makeup is so therapeutic to me right like just doing this makes me feel so good and i also learned from just applying makeup like building up and building up it applies to life isn't it like you just you start something you start out to do something and then you know little by little little by little you see it you know materializing and eventually becoming something reasonable and something worth you know worthy so that's it for me it's not just about the looks but also the you know how therapeutic it turns out so i'm using the same brush i used to apply the transition shade and cleaning out the edges using the same shade i used as a transition shade i am cleaning out the edges you don't want any harsh lines you don't want your edges looking you know harsh and all so i use that to clean the edges now with this flat brush i'm using my classic eyeshadow primer to cut my crease gently just a gentle crease gentle cut crease now what i do this guys because when you apply your eyeshadow primer in your crease to cut your crease look up when you look up and the eye the eyeshadow primer stains the upper area of your eye that means that is where your crease is actually supposed to end so you do yourself good by extending it upwards but as you can see i looked up but there was no stain so i'm right on track don't mind this mess we are going to fix it such is life when you when you encounter any mess on the way of life or you make any mistakes it's okay just make sure to fix it don't let it go don't let it linger don't give up any messes on the way fix it fix it fix it and keep going so i'm just blending blending and blending the eyeshadow primer next i'm going to use my flat brush to apply the eyelid color and this is the shade i'm taking this of this blue shade here like i said i'm going bold on the eyes guys so let's see how this turns out let's see how this turns out why i use eyeshadow primer is because it helps the eyeshadow to sit properly to sit more nicely and to pop more so of course there are different eyeshadow primers we have the jumbo pencil and i would recommend the milk the, the one in the shade milk it also does serve the purpose i'm just tapping the blue shade on my eyelid just tapping and blending making sure that everything is well applied next i'm going back with the same brush and the same shade i used as a transition shade guys i said it when you go build up build up always make sure you blend everything out nicely now i'm using a smaller blending brush taking a deeper shade of blue and applying in the crease i just want to intensify the crease and make it look darker than the the eyelid blue that's what i'm doing just blending and blending and blending and blending 
as you can see I'm concentrating more in the crease I'm using yet a smaller brush I want to get deeper into the crease as you can see it's becoming more intense in the, in the crease becoming more deep more intense in the crease that's what I want to achieve I always say guys never be in a hurry when applying your eyeshadow or any you know step of your eyeshadow of your makeup routine take your time you want to go out looking good not looking funny and lastly I'm cleaning the edges once again if you apply your eyeshadow and you find that the edges are you know there is excess product at the outer corners of your eyes never mind when applying your foundation your highlighting and all you're going to clean everything and fix everything up so there's always a second chance in life guys always have that in mind even when applying your makeup now i'm lining my eyes with million pauline eyeshadow eyeliner million pauline eyeliner using this tapered eye Oh my goodness, I'm forgetting the names of my tools, guys. It's been a while. Like, I'm using my eyeliner brush. It's a tapered brush. I've just lined the first eye and I'm, I'm lining the second eye. I think I've mentioned this before in one of my videos that this probably is my, my favorite part of makeup application lining my eyes like I love just the way it spices up stuff and makes the whole look you know come together looking beautiful now I'm applying my eyelashes using my tweezer guys it's okay if you if you if you are not yet comfortable with with applying your eyelashes with a tweezer it's okay use your hands use your hands like your fingers it will get it done and i'm linking and i'm linking an eye lash video here i have a full tutorial on how to apply eyelashes so i'm linking it here for you guys to see when you've applied your eyelashes just use your hands and fix things up make sure everything is seated nicely moving straight to the face area I'm priming my eyes i'm linking all the products for you guys down as usual guys i got a new foundation this foundation is the ellie girl foundation in the shade bronze right yeah, bronze like I said I'm linking everything down this is a liquid lightweight foundation I don't know guys for some weird reasons this foundation looks ashy on camera but looking in the mirror and in real life this is not how it looks I don't know why I don't know why it looks this way so I'm using my beauty blender to fix things up and blend everything in while soaking up you know, excess product I love it because it's it's medium coverage and it's liquid so it's easy to blend just take your time and blend it going straight on to highlights using my Ellie Girl Pro concealer in the shade 4 the same concealer I used to prepare my eye area for the eyeshadow I'm also linking a video here on how to highlight and contour some basic you know do's and don'ts I have the video and I'm linking it here for you guys to see just so that you can take one or two tips and tricks that you might find useful I'm using a darker shade of the Ellie Girl concealer to contour my face this is in deep cocoa dark cocoa so i'm linking everything here for you guys so just click in the description box down below and you're going to see all the items i've used i 
as usual i'm using my beauty blender to blend the highlight blend 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 like we always say blend everything up blend 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 everything up blend it up blend it blend it blend it okay so i'm just blending you guys i'll probably not say this too much or how do i put it right like it's never too much for me to say this to you guys that i love you guys i love you all so much so much words fail me to express how much i love you guys you guys are amazing i always say it's g squad you guys are the best you're the best your support is amazing trust me now i'm setting my highlights with my buttercup setting powder using this brush just applying it under my eyes in all on all the areas i've applied my highlight just setting the highlight to make sure it doesn't crease now i'm using the sickle face definer palette taking the bronzer to set my contour that's how we do it that's how we do it do it do it apply it on all the areas that you have contoured your face so the hollows of your cheeks the forehead and the nose area i'm doing a reverse contour i'm applying the setting powder just below the hollows of my cheeks For some funny reasons, I find this step optional, but I have decided to do it. So, and again, co we contour our faces differently. So, the, the way we contour our face is determined largely by the shape of our faces. So, for me, I have a round face. So, the way I contour my face, I extend my contour way down towards my my lips if if that's okay but if you have an oval face already you do not need to take it downwards now like i said i'm applying the highlight the the, the bronzer on the sides of my nose where i contoured my nose give it dimension moving on to apply my powder and using my Maybelline all-in-one powder to set my entire face you guys know all of this already you know how I do it and if you're new to this amazing home where love is you know the cord holding us together you might as well click on my videos and see other videos that I have I have a lot of makeup videos and videos on other stuff that I've been sharing with you guys so just so that you keep yourself abreast of all that we've done and we are still doing now I'm lining my eyes I just got this eye liner and I love it so much you guys know I love retractable eyeliners because it helps you keep your product safe so I've linked it here as well now that I've lined my eyes, I'm taking the same blue shade I have going on on my eyelid area and applying it on my lower lash line, just smudging it on my lower lash line. I want to pop some colors, you know, popping colors, popping the blue today. We are done with the face. Moving on to the lips, I'm using this Zaron eye, this Zaron lip liner, to line my lips before applying my lipstick. Of course, I've linked it as well. Check it for details about the pencil. Yeah, 
and you line your lips you smack your lips to you know blend everything in together i'm using this new lipstick also from zara details in the description box check it check it it's a matte nude lipstick i love it so much but for this video i'm not going to leave it matte i'm going to apply this maybelline lip gloss over it details also in the description box so check it guys you have everything listed down below for you into the same face the final palette from Zico. i'm taking the highlighter to highlight my face for some funny reasons this highlighter is not popping the way i expected it to pop if i'm to compare it to my classic face definer palette i think the highlighter in classic is more pigmented like just one swipe and you have a whole lot of product on the face to work with but for this i have to keep taking and applying and taking and applying to achieve what you see so can you see I have to keep taking to apply for it to really show now I'm using my Maybelline blush you guys know how much I love this blush so in one of my videos that I had up earlier the, I I use this blush as an eyeshadow and trust me it came out very very lovely I loved it so much I'm going to set my face with this setting spray that is infused with highlighter. This is what we've achieved finally. Finally, this is what we've achieved, guys. So, how do I look? Like, I always ask you guys, how do I look? How do I look? How do you check this look out? I love you guys so much thank you for watching as usual I always say like drop me a comment share do all the good things you guys know all the good things you always do thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video bye I love all of you bye